My name's Paula Tully. <clears throat> it used to be Paula Curtis. Married to Ian for over 40 years. We met each other here in Chiswick when we were five years old. It was great. There were bamboo patches and tadpole ponds and swimming baths and we had a, a wonderful, wonderful childhood. Um, we weren't sweethearts when we were young, but uh, something grabbed a hole later on. And it's not the place it used to be. They had the Progress Association and then they built the baths and they used to take us on the picnic down the river every year. Um, it was just a wonderland for a kid. No one went to soccer practice or ballet or you made your own fun. Heaps of it. Billy cards? Yeah. 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 Uh, well, I'm Ian Tully. Uh, yeah, I uh, was born here in Chiswick. Uh, yes, as Paula said, we had a great time as kids uh, here. It is a, a totally different place now. Um, growing up, uh, the box company was um, was probably a, a, the great big open area, which of course is now Bortfield Drive, uh, where all the units are. Uh, and again, as kids, um, I, I'd go down with a friend of uh, of mine, uh, Keith, and and quite often we would slip into the box company, not allowed to, of course, but we'd go down there and go to the wharf, uh, and you'd spearfish uh, leather jackets, that sort of thing, off the, around the wharf steps and things like that. Uh, you'd never see the caretaker, uh, you'd always be able to get past him, the uh, uh, bamboo patch in uh, Wither Street. That was all bo open area. Um, a, a lot of open area, of course, down through uh, uh, Burns Crescent. Uh, there were no houses down that area on one side of the road, uh, going down into the park, which is now the park area. So, I mean, that's all been... Um, become quite an extensive residential area around there now. Um, but yeah, as kids, it was a great place to grow up. You had to make your own fun. Uh, billy carts down with the street. Uh, you know, you'd make a billy cart out of your ball bearing and uh, um, you'd go straight down and over, uh, over the uh, Burns Crescent and not worry about a car going along Burns Crescent. You'd, you wouldn't even know if there was one there. Uh, you just slip straight down there and no one ever worried about it. Yeah, so I ended up in the grass down the very end of it because that didn't go down. That was that was just all dirt at the end of that. So there was no road down the bottom. Uh, I, I came from there. Burns Crescent down on the water. Yep. <clears throat> Possibly the first, one of the first houses down there. You'd go down at low tide and there'd be, you'd pick up a rock and be mud gudges. It's a little fish. Then he'd hide under the rock till the tide came back in and then he would go again. So I used to pick buckets full of them and then tip them in at a high tide. And uh, where we lived on the water, there was a rock face and there were great big water rats, great big ugly water rats. Um, they were, well, it was good to stay away from them. Yeah. Um, my, my dad had a wharf and, and many boats, mostly with my name, Paula J. <laughs> the Progress Association was uh, was obviously a, a big yeah. thing. Uh, they did build the bars down there at, uh, at the end of Blackwell Point Road and uh, it was great for the local community. It was somewhere for the kids to go and safely be able to swim. Ian's best friend, Keith, um, Mrs Little, who Nan mentioned, um, his father was the mayor, mayor of, of Dremoyne at the time. Uh, and got into the Progress Association in a big way. So I thought it'd be interesting to mention that Ian's best friend's father was was the mayor of the Dremoyne Council, which isn't anymore. Mm. Yeah. Can I just interrupt here? You might like to talk about Dad when he was young, the boy swimming across the river to go to the bars. Yeah, they did. That was going, that's going down Abbotsford Point Way. Sorry, I just remember Dad saying that yep. he, he and his brothers, yes. it was a large they, family, family. Of they did. Uh, oh, like, actually, they didn't. They did it from here. I they did it from swam here. across. They, I'm sure. I thought it was they swam across this bay here to get to the swimming pool. No, they, it, that's that's accessible. Yeah, um, the swimming pool. Which pool are you talking about, here? I thought there used to be a swimming. Are oh, we going way, way back? Probably there used to be one over. Over the Glacial Way one, and I know they used to do a bit of. I thought it was just down because it's a quite a, quite a narrow 
area here they used to swim across. Well, I, I, I do know that they Dad did go out there. Um, they used to have what they call model boats, two-foot model boats. That was a big thing. Um, a lot of uh, people like my father and, and uh, friends of his, they used to race them down in the... Uh, uh, in Five Dock Bay, mm. and they often would have to go and swim after them or row after them to try and catch them if they went over. Uh, and uh, that was something that they, they would do, of course, and uh, that was, well, we are going back to times when you would hardly see a boat, well, you wouldn't see a boat moored in Five Dock Bay. Mm. Uh, it's, uh, it's quite phenomenal. Um, uh, to see those sorts of things now and, and how it's built out down there now, mm -hmm. boat-wise. I mean, it was just something that eh, you'd hardly see down there. I, I love Chiswick and we grew up here and we had a great time here, but I do find it myself now um, too busy. I, Me too. We've moved up the Central Coast, as I said, and uh, I get to the point now where um, uh, coming down to Sydney is, uh, oh, I really don't want to, you know, uh, I do because of mum, but um, uh, but it is it is something that uh, I find I like the idea of the way things were. I feel yeah. sad. I suppose you'd call it nostalgia. Every time I come here, um, as we do come to see Nan, the only reason we come down, and um, I really get an attack of nostalgia, and I get a bit weepy sometimes just to remember how it was and how it is now. Yeah. As Anne and I were talking about a little while ago, uh, these days it's a now society. Whereas we we grew up in a matter of, well, we would like to have that, and we, yeah, okay, well, it's it's now January or February, and maybe we'll get it in Christmas. <laughs> you know, my uncle actually had the opportunity of buying two houses uh, in uh, Blackwell Point Road. And uh, he didn't want them, and at the ripe old age of about 20, for me, he said, did I want to purchase them because I could get them very cheap and, and even significantly cheaper than what the market value was. And, uh, and my preference was, at that time, to um, buy a new car. So I decided against that. Of course, um, age and wisdom uh, <laughs> uh, uh, makes you... Uh, kick yourself sometimes um, at that sort of opportunity because the, the price uh, was uh, quite significant. Uh, I mean, it was only about uh, what six times the price of a new car to buy two blocks of a uh, two ha one ha full house and virtually a block of land uh, with a, a, a house that needed to be people, demolished. People weren't interested so, because they had um, yeah. the box factory and it had license and. Down on the river where we we looked over to the education department that where they made all the desks and whatnot and and all sorts of yuck, yucky things spewed into the bay and there was, there was no retaining wall and every high tide every low tide was a peg on the nose job um, and a block of land cost you just nothing. just a, nothing nothing mm. now you can't afford to get back into it yeah and of course we both. We both went to the uh, the Sunday school as well that was there. Yeah, where Anne used and to Anne be a used to teacher. actually be one of the t Sunday school teachers. Before I there. saw the light. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> but, but what's interesting is um, when the uh, I've actually got the um, the subdivision. We're off camera now, aren't we? Yes and no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got the subdivision plans here for for Eaton Place. Yeah. And when that was. Um, when that was being named, I don't know if somebody in the council, I think, said to Mum um, that they were suggesting it be called Tully Place because the family had been here for so long. Yeah, we didn't and, want that. Um, and <laughs> Mum said, no, Miss Seaton, who was yeah, the teacher, should yeah. be recognised. She was a... Uh, and that's how, that that's how, how, how it got its name, Eaton Crescent. So she was, she was the, the driving force. In the, in the Sunday school, I'm sure you've heard about it, and, and, and Joe Matheson will tell you about it, that was in... In Guest's old place, it was a mansion that was down in the river that's obviously been pulled down and, and built out of. And uh, so that, that was how mm -hmm. Eaton Crescent got yeah. into a place. Mm -hmm. Eaton Place. Eaton Place. Eaton Crescent. Fantastic.